Hello everyone. In this touch designer tutorial, you would actually see really cool stuff, cool designs coming up and all of these are just abstract art. And you can see by changing small parameters and these designs can evolve in a most beautiful way. And, and the most beautiful thing is you have so many different options. You can change the ramp and you can have some of the most amazing designs. You have options to play with mirror. You have options to play with tiles. And there are so many things that you will be able to do which can produce some of the best design that you would want to go for. And of course, you can upload it on your social media and you'd see a lot. So let's just go ahead and start creating the stuff so that we all can learn how such kind of patterns can be created. And you'd be surprised actually that it doesn't take much to produce some of the best possible outputs. And again, small changes in the parameters, you see a lot coming around. All right, so let's get going. Perfect, first thing first, let's use ramp. All right, ramp is the basic component and again, it's it's based on the earlier tutorial that I'd created. Let's give a period as 0.13. Okay, so it gives those strips. Let's animate the face with ABC time dot seconds 0.2. Once this is done, let's use the transform. So the moment you use transform, you get various properties to play around with. You can use translate, rotate, scale, and uh, of course, the one option that you need to know is about the mirror, right? So once this is done, let's go and use a mirror chop. By using mirror chop, we have an option of playing around with the rotate and flip X and flip Y. And let's apply the rotation as 45, right? Let's use another mirror to make it more complex in its design. And you can see that by using the small mirrors, we can have some of the best patterns coming in, right? And on top of it, let's use tile. And this finishes our entire design. Now let's have a look how the stuff is coming up. Again, we forgot. So let's go to ramp, change the resolution to 1200 by 720. So you can see some of the good stuff coming up. Let's use tile. Let's go to tile property. Let's have reflect. Let's use flip X, flip Y. Now we have the transform. Let's go to transform and play around with the rotation. And as and when we are changing the values of rotation, you can actually see how well the design is forming up. Now let's use the scale. Now the scale can be used to produce some of the detailed design. And with this, we have a good stuff to go with. Now we use the rotate, the rotation angle for the mirrors. As you can see, by changing the rotation, we see a change in the design coming up. Now let's try and play around with flip. So by using flip, we again see a different combination. Let's go to mirror. Let's try, this is the second mirror that we are trying to use. Currently the rotation value is zero, but let's try and make it, let's change it. And you can see there is a good pattern coming up. We go to tile and let's use reflect Y. So now we have some of the good designs coming in. And this also gives us some good understanding on how these parameters can help us to do things. Now the other thing that you would want to give a try is um, let's use some uh, LFO, right? So now I'll be using LFO to change the uh, rotation angle. Now as we know, we have to set the values. So let's use values as 250 and I'm going to use offset as 50. Now the frequency is turning out to be very, very quick. So I'm going to change frequency from 1 to 0 0.001. So this, this is too slow actually. So let's make it as 0 0.09, oh, 0 0.01. So this is much better. Now let's go and apply this into a rotate of the transform. And by doing this, you can slowly and simply start saying a change coming in. So this pretty much gives us an understanding that how these values 
can change the entire designs. Now let's use second LFO. Let's change the amplitude from 250 to 150. And let's give that amplitude value to the second mirror. And let us see how well the design is changing up. Let's change the frequency from 0 0.01 to 0 0.03. And you would see a lot of movements coming in. Now you might find that this is a little bit dizzy. You may want to reduce uh, the speed of the ramp. So let's reduce it by, uh, let's make it as 0.1 for now. And you can see the movements coming in in a most beautiful way. We can increase the period if it is needed. And with the increase in the period, we can see uh, the rotations and the changes are a little bit slowed down. Now you could be thinking, what else can be done on this? Well, one of the things that we can do is let's use one more ramp. And now this time the ramp that we're going to use is going to be a circle. By using a circle ramp, we can have some good stuff coming in. So I'll use period as 0.13. Uh, the phase that I'll be using is ABS time dot seconds 0.5. So I'll be using 0.5 and we can see there is a movement happening. Now I would just go and change the source of transform from ramp 1 to ramp 2. And oh, we forgot to set the resolution. So let's set the resolution and there you go. There is already something really cool coming up. Now we have an option of playing around with various different options. Now instead of using LFO, let's use noise. And let's see how well we can have the variable in... So I'll be using uh, time slice. And I'll be using math to have some better values. And my math range will be from minus 1 to 0. So I'll make it as um, 45 to 60. So I'll see the values all the way here. I'll be using these values as a part of my rotation. And we can actually have a look. Now, this is dancing. This can be avoided by increasing the period. And this gives us a very smooth movement like a calioscope. And this is where we have. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, the short one, and something which is really, really creative. Again, my tutorials are based on very small components and how those small components can create some of the best or oh, pleasing designs. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be really happy if you could like, subscribe to my channel, uh, it really helps a lot. It, it, it's like a token of appreciation when somebody subscribes to it. And um, your comments, your, uh, your opinions are more than welcome for me. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And this is what I had today to, to showcase how best things can be created in Touch Designer. Next time I'll come back with some more good tutorials so that you all can learn something really cool stuff. And I hope you enjoyed this. Bye for now.